the soul. Today we're going to build another Christmas decoration item that's very easy to build and requires minimal material and uh, really doesn't take a lot of time. It will be another Christmas tree but this time it will be a three-dimensional Christmas tree and actually this can be adopted very easily to be a, ch a children's project if you would uh, like to use uh, cardboard, right? Or what is the other thing? What yeah, cardboard or cardstock or anything that's a heavier weight material. So you can enjoy this either as a, as a woodworking project or as something that you can do with your kids. I hope you enjoy the video. So we found some templates. Just using those to trace onto our wood so that we can then cut them out. And in the upcoming year, I'm going to start putting all our templates on our website. Uh, uh, I'm still working on the website, so there is not much to see at it right now, but hopefully soon. So that would be a cool thing to do with a kid if you buy a, a red and a green um, cardboard paper. Cardstock? Yeah, and then you combine them and one of them is red, the other is green. If you want that look, yeah. You mean the Christmas look? Well, most Christmas trees aren't both red and green. Most Christmas trees are not solid either. They're not? No. Mm. And as you can see here, we, we're trying to maximize any waste. We, we like to use the material we have to the best of, uh, I don't want to use the word ability, uh, as efficiently as possible, right? Yeah. Now if you do that, choose a template that has uh, easy cuts. I mean, there are some very nice templates out on the web, but they are very difficult to cut, right? Mm-hmm. So here you need to make sure that your template is easy to cut. And also it helps if you have a better pencil. Yeah, I like actually to use mechanical pencils. I don't like those. Well, I do too, but sometimes in the wood shop the mechanical pencils don't work as well for whatever reason. Maybe we're just too hard on them. Us? Too hard on something? Mm -hmm. You just... Things get dropped. No. Okay, there we go. So you can see the templates. And now we're going to go on the plant sewing cutting. You didn't? Oh, fantastic. Not the smartest thing.
that's okay there. Yeah. And then you just need to widen it that one. Do we want the base for this? That should stand by itself. Shouldn't it? There we go. Awesome. And of course you can paint it or you can add lights to it, right? Yeah, you could paint it, you could stain it, you could distress it, you could add lights to it, you could uh, put any kind of decoration on it that you want, but basically it gives you that dimensional look. And what we were doing with the saw blade was to widen the connecting slots because what was on the template was really made for a thinner board than what we have. And so we just widened, widened those to accommodate the thickness of the board that we have. Okay. And so then, this is it. So it looks really nice. Well, friends, this is a nice and easy and fast way to create decorations for your house or even a nice personalized gift right yeah that you can use friends family or even co-workers and i think this might be the last tree we make for the holiday season right mm -hmm. we have a, a nicer bigger not nicer i shouldn't say nicer we have a bigger build plan before the, uh, before christmas uh, that we want to show you but uh, i think we've made plenty of christmas trees yeah and uh, you saw us switching from the Banso to the Solmax, the Dream of Solmax. And that was for two reasons. The first reason is because our Banso is acting up and uh, with these pieces being small, we didn't want to risk uh, breaking them with the blade. And the other is that uh, the Solmax, I think, gives you a little more control and precision. What do you think? Um, I would, I don't know. They both worked. Um... Uh, we might put lights on this, I don't know. Yeah. Have we'll you decided? No, we haven't. And another idea for that is if you wanted to make it at a slightly smaller scale, you could be use them for like place cards if you were having a dinner party, uh, some type of centerpiece for your Christmas table, anything like that. And as you can see, it's forgiving. If you make a mistake somewhere, you can get the, the better side. I don't think we made any mistakes on this one. I think it looks good in either direction, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And I hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope you are enjoying your holidays from the Grasswood Gawker and Elpida. Uh, thank you for watching. If you like what we do and you enjoyed this episode, please smash that like button. If you didn't, I have a nasty rumor that the other button works as well. Comment, share and, and subscribe so you won't miss an episode or you won't miss an opportunity to win in one of our giveaways. Have a great week.